the external jugular vein the options are lies deep to the sternocleidomastoid muscle it drains into the internal jugular vein it is formed by the union of the posterior auricular vein and posterior division of the retromandibular vein it pierces pretracheal layer of cervical fascia before termination actually students you are expected to know at least the tributaries of the internal jugular vein and external jugular vein because this is the venous drainage of your head and neck area and that is going to be uh, the most important part that will be coming from the anatomy in your exam for neat mds right so yes uh, we should know the course of the external jugular vein and uh, i should give you a very uh, famous figure so if you see here this is supra orbital this is supra trochlear and both of these form the angular vein at the angle of the mouth it is called as the facial vein and this facial vein is generally attached to the anterior division of retromandibular vein what is retromandibular vein here the superficial temporal vein will be there and that will be going through the parotid and yes you will be getting the maxillary vein out of it and then it will be called as the retromandibular vein now this retromandibular vein will be having two division one is anterior division another is the posterior division so the anterior division of the retromandibular vein generally attaches or the confluences with the facial vein and after joining this this is called as the common facial vein and then it will be drained into the internal jugular vein now if we see the other branch that is the posterior division of the retromandibular vein so we will be able to see that this posterior division goes and meets the posterior auricular vein okay that would have been coming from there and both confluence both join to form the external jugular vein and that uh, ultimately drains into the subclavian vein right so if you see here you will be able to understand the external jugular vein here also you can say the, see this is the sternocleidomastoid muscle right and just this is the angle of your jaw right around near the angle of the jaw what happens there will be confluence of the posterior division of the retromandibular vein and yes there will be the auricular vein that would be coming here and both will be joining and forming the external jugular vein now this external jugular vein will be ultimately draining into the subclavian vein so yes we will be go coming back to the question the external jugular vein it is formed by the union of posterior auricular vein and posterior division of the retromandibular vein and that we have already discussed so quickly walking through the key concept external jugular vein forms near the angle of the mandible with the posterior branch of the retromandibular vein and posterior auricular vein which join and descends through the neck in the superficial fascia so the answer is going to be yes option 3 that is your uh, it is formed by posterior auricular vein and the posterior division of the retromandibular vein that is going to form your external jugular vein